Just to recap on three problems, it. three problems that you presented even after yeah. we build the bridge, the three things we need to be aware of is long-term care yeah. plan, inflation, taxes, that those things are, are going to be constant uh, issues that we need to neutralize. And then the mm-hmm. long-term care, how a deferred comp plan could help fund that or other vehicles, right? Just, just being aware of it. And then the life insurance. Then the other piece that I threw in there that I feel like could definitely be a conversation is from a first lien HELOC after a period of time of velocity banking. Just know that just from this person's income and expenses and cash flow moving in and out, it's yeah. all of it together is paying down debt, which is which is freeing up more and more cash flow because we're paying less and less interest on on debts. So mm-hmm. that's like a, like a small neutralization there of just day to day and flow and access to capital. But then where it gets even better in the in the long run is how you can convert that into a HECM. So home home yeah. equity conver- conversion mortgage after the age of 62. Maybe we don't even need to really exercise it at 62 or really nowhere near 62. But it's yeah, something yeah. in his back pocket that he could turn on in terms of tax-free income, right? Because he can pull from this because it's debt yeah. as as income tax free. So that would be a, a vehicle there. And yeah. as you mentioned, could we defer risk from the deferred comp by, by pulling from it and establishing either a long term care plan or a life insurance plan that would neutralize that risk of dying too soon or becoming yeah. incapacitated where we can't take care of ourselves? He currently has a one million dollar life insurance policy. I believe it's term. And that'll be expiring in the next couple of years or so. I'm getting details on that. But that would be yeah. something that we want to be aware of where it's like, hey, how do we, you know, retain some of that death benefit? So at least it solves for the for the for that part after death and then a living benefit of long term care, because that could destroy someone's whole financial game plan. They now need for the remaining 10, 15 plus years of their life, a 24 seven, you know, seven days a week type of a person or persons or institution to take care of them that would astronomically increase their cost of living. So there could be that. So we definitely covered a lot here. I really enjoyed going through another case study with you. I think it's really, really great. And, And I know my specific audience which is the majority of those that are in their 40s, 50s, 60s that are yeah. really feel, feeling this this financial pain of not having enough money at the end of the, the month, the end of the year, taxes going up, inflation, financial anxiety, yeah. financial depression, even like all these things occurring. We went real tactical, but we also went over your process in terms of, hey, we're going to have like three to four meetings before we even transact any business at all because I, I really want to make sure that I can serve you. And so we're, we're making these different moves. And the really cool part is when they're working with me, I'm positioning them to be even more successful with you when that when that time comes, which I think is really, really awesome. And then you're just adding more fuel to their you know engine that they're building so that it can go the distance, right? It can really, really go. And then you're also touching on the purpose and living intentional piece there, which is mindset, figuring out, hey, how can we go and start a business with the least risk, knowing that we've neutralized the life insurance problem, the long-term care problem, the taxes and inflation problem, and then guaranteed income for life problem. So for those things, now you know within this parameter, you can risk this money. You have permission to, to just spend it, put it into yourself, invest into yourself, knowing that next month, You're going to have income come in. It's going to cover your cost of living.